Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to draw a uh, base kitchen cabinet using SketchUp. Again, I'm using SketchUp Make, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, now, to come up with the dimensions for the base cabinet that we'll be drawing, I'm going to be referring to this uh, kitchen cabinet plans spreadsheet that I am putting together for all of the subscribers to the Cabinets from Scratch course. And I will cover how to use this um, spreadsheet in a future video, so, sort of an instructional tutorial on how to use this. Uh, but basically, you'll, you'll be able to put in, um, pick a cabinet style and put in the dimensions you want and make some assumptions on how it's built. And then you'll get a list of all the parts you need, which you can then put into a, um, a cut sheet optimizing program or uh, like optimalon.com, or just sort of draw them and list them and you know figure all that out yourself if you want. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started, but this will we'll start with a 36 inch cabinet, um, wide, and again it's a 34 and a half standard height, 24 inches in depth. Um, and we'll get into a couple of these little construction methods here. So let's pick a front view uh, and uh, I think what we'll start by doing is drawing uh, the face frame. So let's go ahead and um, let's just draw a box. We'll get started by drawing a box. I'm going to get rid of the guides. I'm sorry, I want the guides, but I don't want the axes because that's kind of distracting. All right. So we said this is 36 inches. Uh, 36 inches by, oh, 36 inches by uh, 34.5. Okay, great. So there's the front of our cabinet. Now our face frame comes up. Uh, we have a toe kick. So I'm going to pull up three and a half inches. All right. I'm going to draw my pencil. And I'm going to draw a line uh, across there. And now I can go ahead and select all this stuff and delete it. All right. Um, I'm still going to measure down another three and a half. So I have sort of what the bottom of that would look like, but let's start with our cabinet. Um, let's go ahead and make uh, two inch styles. All right. Put that there and type in two. Um, and this is a tip someone on YouTube told me is you don't actually have to uh, select this box down here. You can just uh, snap your line and then start typing. Uh, so SketchUp knows you're typing and you're changing that box. Uh, so it'll be two inches down also for the top. We'll do a two inch rail on the bottom. Uh, and I want to do a five inch opening. So I'm going to pull this down to here, type in five, boom. Uh, this is also going to be a two inch uh, divider. I'll type in two. Uh, let's see. I want center of this whole thing here. So I want this, I want this uh, center line there. So what I'm going to do is start out here. I'm going to pull out until I get to my center line. All right. And now I have a center line because I'm going to have a vertical divider. So I, I did not mention this, but this will be a single drawer uh, with two doors. So we want a vertical divider. So I'm going to pull this out actually an inch, and then I can pull this over two inches. All right. Now I can go ahead and delete this guy. And we have sort of the layouts of our face frame. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and draw another rectangle here. Okay. For our drawer opening, I can draw a rectangle here for our door opening. And then another one here for that door opening. Great. Now all I need to do is just close off these lines to make sort of differentiate between the rail and the style. Do that on the right side here. I'm going to close this top line, close this top line there. And I think we're good. So what I can do is I can start getting rid of some of these guides by selecting them and hitting delete. We don't need those anymore. Don't need that guy. That guy we can get rid of. All right. So now I can select my surfaces that are holes and just delete them. Cool. 
So there's our face frame. So we need to give it some depth, right? Because right now it's just a two dimensional surface. So let's go ahead and I always like to pull my stuff out by looking at it isometrically because I just think it makes more sense. So we're gonna pull this each of these pieces out um, back into the field by three quarters of an inch. And I'll start with the furthest piece and pull that out 0.75. And then I can just keep doing that and it'll just keep snapping to that 0.75 value. It's gonna pull out to there, oh, pull out to there, and there. So let's rotate that back to the front to make sure we don't have any hollow surfaces. Oh, look at that, they're all hollow. So you can see what I mean, it's almost like a shell. Okay, now that, that's gonna happen, that's fine. So what we can do is we can just draw um, a couple, oh, you know, let me draw this from the front. Let's draw a couple, take our pencil, and draw this closed, and this will start closing the surface here. All right. There we go. It's going to start to close in some of that. There we go. All right. And I'll just redo that line there. I'm missing another one here. Uh, and that guy there. All right. So we separate. So we have our top rail, our mid rail, a vertical divider, our bottom rail, and a left and a right style. And if I come around to the back, I can see if it, look, it appears to be, as much as we can tell, a solid surface. And again, I'm just doing this for some kind of visual representation. So I'm not going to worry too much about whether it's actually thinks it's solid. I don't really care if it's hollow on the inside, if it's a shell. Um, so now we can start drawing the box. We could actually do the doors in the drawer front if we wanted to at this point. But let's go ahead and, and skip to the box. So I'm going to take a top view and zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna shift this over. Oh, all right, I'm gonna look right down there. And I'm gonna now zoom in to this, all right? So I'm looking down my style and I'm going to click on my measuring tape. Uh, I'm gonna pull in, uh, I do a quarter inch. Okay, I always recess my box in a quarter inch. And then from this guy, we're gonna pull in three quarters, 0.75, all right? And then we're going to, so I, the way I'm going to build this particular cabinet, if I were to build it, would be to recess it in a quarter inch. Okay, so this will actually be hollowed out. And I'm going to do that by drawing a box here. Okay, now I can select that if I want, right? And I can draw my extrude button. And I can take an isometric view. I can change the view a little bit just to see it better. And what I can do is I can just push that all the way down until it's gone. So now I can sink and glue my box into this groove here. And I can come down here, slide this down to the next style top, and we can repeat that process. And I'll do it from this view so you see it a little better. Okay, I'm gonna pull in a quarter of an inch. So we have a quarter inch overhang. Pull this in 0.75 inches, three quarters of an inch. Okay, now I can take my pencil and then draw this rectangle and then get rid of it, boom. Okay, so now let's take a, an isometric view. So I click this button here to get, a, an, a, I think, a 3D view. If I want a front view, I just click that. Okay, 3D view, there you go. And again, I can look, this is the front, this is the back. And you can see if I've got those grooves put in there so we could attach our box to our face frame. So this is almost just like building it in real life. You know, you're drawing the parts and then you're putting it together. So let's draw our, uh, I'm going to take a top view again, and I'm going to pull out, now we want the total cabinet to be 24 inches, front to back. Okay, so you're not going to see that line, but it's right there. All right, so now we know where the back of the cabinet is, so I can actually just draw a rectangle. And let's see if we can make this a little easier. So let's put this in the center. And I can draw this by either using a pencil and drawing all four points. Okay, or I could just have drawn a rectangle. All right, so now I'm going to show you what this looks like. So there's the top two-dimensional part of our box. And I'm actually going to pull this all the way down to 34 and a half inches. So it's going to pass the face frame. So what I'm going to do is select the, this face and pull it down and you can see it, it opened up actually it looks like it's hollowed out but that's fine so i'll let go and i'll just type in 34.5 
and there we go. All right, then I'm gonna take a pencil and just close that surface. All right, so let's take a look at the front of this cabinet. Oh, you may have noticed we forgot something, right? That's a toe kick. So we actually have this line that, let's delete that. So we can do our toe kick now if we wanted to, and we might as well, because that's not too hard to do. So let's, let's do this by selecting a side view. So you can see this is the one side, this is the other. So I'm clicking these two boxes, and I'm gonna take my tape measuring tool, just like I would in the workshop, and I'm gonna pull in 3.5 inches up or in, and then 3.5 inches up. And then I can take my pencil tool, and I'm gonna make sure I'm drawing this right here. So I'm gonna rotate it down, and I'm gonna zoom in. There we go. Now I can select that point, this point, that point, and then I can just select this surface and get rid of it. All right. Looks like this thing came in too. Don't know what that is. See you later. All right. So there's some lines here left over. Cool. All right. Let's take a look at that side view again. I'm going to hit that button. Cool. All right. So we got our toe kick. And that's the one side. This is a view from the other. So we got our side built. Pretty cool. So we can go ahead and repeat that from the top and draw our other side. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit to make this a little easier myself. Center it up, pencil tool. One, two, three, four, five points. Okay, great. Again, I'll rotate it just so I can see it. I'm gonna select my push-pull, pull it down 34.5. Pencil tool, close the surface by connecting any two points. I'm good to go there. And then I'll select my side view, zoom out to see it. And I'll rotate it up. All right, and I'll snap my three and a half lines. 3.5. And, oh, nope, not that one. We don't want that one. We want this front one. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, well, that's not right. We missed the first one. Let's do this. Let's select this line here, because that's getting in my way. All right, now I want to do from here, 3.5, from this line up, 3.5. All right, now we did, we'll just do what we did last time, and that is zoom in a bit. Oop, move my hand there, great. And now I can just take my pencil tool, get that corner, great. Select the surface, say see you later. Select this stuff here, whatever that is, and delete it. All right, isometric view. Okay, let's we can rotate this, see how this looks, right? Looks like a cabinet. Looks pretty cool to me. All right, so now let's put our, um, let's put our backboard in, or do we wanna maybe put our back groove in first? Why don't we do that? Um, so, um, I'm going to draw this the way I, I built the kitchen cabinet in my first house. And that was, I used three quarter inches for all of the plywood. I didn't use a quarter inch back and then, a, you know, a separate sort of back strap. I used a, just a three quarter inch back and it made it a little easier. It's more expensive, but logistically it made it easier because I didn't have to buy several different thicknesses of plywood. I only needed to buy the three quarter inch plywood and then the half inch for the door. So let's go ahead and rotate this, or we can just take a top view. And I'm gonna pull this in from the top edge. I'm gonna pull in an inch, okay? And the reason I would do that, let's say if I wanted some to scribe, have some scribe space, or three quarters of an inch. Let's, let's go with three quarters of an inch. Uh, since my back, I said would be three quarters of an inch, we're gonna pull this down 0.75, okay? And then let's, um, select to come over here. I can get rid of some of these guidelines I don't need anymore, like this back, like this guy here. I can get rid of those, get rid of those. All right, cleans it up a bit. Now I can come over here and take my tape measure tool, get a red line, pull it in halfway, which is 3 eighths, and that's 0.375 or three over eight. Now I can draw uh, my box, my little groove here I'm going to take. I can rotate to make sure I do this right. 
I'll select it, the push pull tool and we'll get rid of that. Great. So let's repeat that over here. Tape measure, pull that in three eighths. Awesome. And then we just go one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll do push pull so we can see it. We'll turn it, push pull that little section. Cool. Again, let's, let's check it out how it looks uh, isometrically. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out and rotate this around. All right, looks good. Looks good. All right, so I wanted to draw that first so we had a clearer view of what I'm going to do with the bottom. Uh, now, let's, so we'll, we'll take a, this is basically a back view. I'm going to put the, you can put the bottom board anywhere you wanted to behind this bottom face frame section. So let's put it uh, a quarter inch down from this lip. And I'm going to zoom in so, so I just get a, I'm able to select a red line here. So let's say, well, this is selecting three eighths. Let's, let's, let's go with three eighths, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then from here, we'll select this line again that we just drew and pull it down three quarters of an inch, so 0.75. All right. Um, now I could delete, um, what I could do is like put another groove in here if I wanted to, uh, and, and then pull it through the groove and you can see all that, but I'm going to cheat. So I'm just going to draw a, um, a rectangle from this corner to that corner. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to delete these lines. All right. Cause they'll get in the way. Now I'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see this and I'm going to pull this out. So I'm going to select my push pull tool, select this the new section we created and I'm going to pull it and touch my cursor right there. All right. So it pulls it to the edge. So now let's take a look here. All right. So we have our bottom piece basically pulled in and I'm going to just zoom out a bit. So we have these lines that get pulled out also from our vertical lines. So you get these horizontal lines on there. So we can just select those and delete those. All right. Now at this point, uh, we have our two sides our face frame. The only thing we need is our back. So what I would normally do and what I did when I built my cabinets uh, in my first house is I had this back piece go from top to bottom and then this bottom board inserted into a groove in the back. And since we're drawing a complete cabinet, we actually don't need to show that because it would be hidden anyway. But what we will do is draw our uh, bottom, you know, our backboard and extrude it all the way down. And then we can finish up with our drawer front and door fronts or doors. So let's take a top view. So select top here. And all I need to do now at this point is use my pencil tool or the rectangle tool and draw um, just a big rectangle here. And then I can select this surface that I got closed. Right. And then let's see, let's rotate this. All right. So it doesn't, this surface doesn't really exist. So we'll delete that. Uh, so now I can come around here and now I have that box I just drew and I can pull it all the way down. And I'm just going to scoot this out of the way and I want to pull it to this bottom of this surface right here. So let's go ahead and pull that down right to there and good. All right. So let's do a front view, zoom out. Cool. That looks pretty good. Isometric view. Let's just do a quick inspection. Okay. So one thing we could add would be a toe kick. Toe kick would be pretty easy. Let's do a side view. Uh, let's do the other side just because no real reason. And I'm going to zoom in to work on the toe kick in that area. And so what we can do is uh, measuring tape and just to see what this would look like, we'll pull it out 0.25 inches because that's pretty much what it would be. And I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to zoom in to make this easier. So you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, I could also I probably need to snap a line to the bottom of this cabinet. So I have another corner so I can kind of do it from here out to there. Great. There's my toe kick. 
And now we'll just rotate that around so we can see what I'm looking at. All right, and I'll just zoom out. And we'll grab that toe kick section, pull it across till it meets this end. So I can snap it to anywhere on that line. I can kind of just hover my mouse over it and it will go to that end. Great. So now let's look at it from the front. Awesome. And let's do just a quick tour of what this looks like so far. So we got our back. Oh, we got an open surface in the back. So we'll correct that by grabbing our pencil and just uh, closing that. Okay, good. So we got our backboard in, sides. You can see our joints there, which is, which is how you would see it if we built it this way. This is what you'd visually see. We do have a scribe surface there too. So we have uh, some extra meat behind the cabinet for an uneven wall. So now let's draw and let's select the front view and let's draw the drawer front. So we'll just draw a solid piece of wood. Uh, so that's, we're going to start with a tape measure and I'm going to actually, let's make this easier by zooming into the area we're working with. All right, now uh, in our last video, we drew a overlay door. Let's do inset so I can show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and pull down. I leave an eighth of an inch. That's 0.125 or one over eight. So I'm going to draw a one eighth inch um, sort of measuring tape mark all the way around. And I want to pull this out that way. There it is. Okay, so now I can draw a rectangle from this little corner. Kind of hard to snap to it to that little corner there. All right, so that's really all there is to it for that thing, but we'll extrude it because it's, it's not um, three-dimensional yet, and we'll extrude it to it's flush with the back of that face. And great, it's not hollowed out. That looks cool. Cool. So we have our little inset drawer there with an eighth inch, um, and that might be a bit much eighth of an inch, but you can clearly see that there's a gap. So that's all I was going for. And we're going to repeat that process for these two doors. So um, what's nice, I already have uh, when I pulled this one eighth inch snap line out, this little um, tape measure mark from this edge. Uh, it, it also gave it to me over here. So I'll just have to do it from my inner, one eighth this way. Oh, try that again, one eighth in, and then one and eighth inch that way, and then we'll pull it down an eighth, right? And then up from the bottom, an eighth as well. Come on. There we go. All right. Now again, this is just, the only tricky part here is getting this to snap our rectangle to this surface because it's it's a that's tricky so i'll select my rectangle tool grab that i want to grab the intersection and not the end point and it might be easier to do with a pencil not so much okay so the easier way to do this is just draw four lines so i'm going to zoom in even further so i can see this there's my point so i can just take my pencil Get that intersection to snap to it. Boom. All right. Now I can come down here, click on the pencil again, and it's still active, which is nice. So I can come down here. Nope. Oh, let's get a better view of it right there. Now you can see it there. Pencil again, still active. Come on. Intersection. Cool. I'll grab my hand. Pencil tool, great. Same thing, pencil tool, while well, we're still active, great. Now I have an issue here because that didn't close. So let's take a look. Oh, no, it did close, <laughs> I'm sorry. It didn't look like it closed because it's the same color. And what I mean by close is it didn't look like it closed like a surface. Um, 
so let's, yep, you can see the one right there. All right. Now, what I could do is I can select this, uh, Control C or Command C, and then Command V, another one, and then I can just sort of copy and snap it into place right there. But uh, let's see how, if we can do that with that. Let's do Command C, Command V. I want to snap it to that intersection. Cool. All right. So that was two quick doors. Great. Now all we got to do is pull them to give them some depth. So I'm going to come around to the back, push pull to the surface, grab this one, go to that surface. Boom. All right. Let's do a front view again. Um, let's. Uh, Zoom out of here a little bit and let's get rid of all. Uh, we have some, an excess of guidelines we, we, uh, we don't need at this point. So I'm going to highlight those, get rid of those. Great. All right. So now let's zoom in a little more. And we're gonna, almost done here because this is, video is getting on a little bit. But we'll uh, give these doors two inch rail and styles to match the cabinet. So we'll do two. I want to make sure we're grabbing that edge. Two, two, grab this one, two, two. All right. Two, great. I think you know how this is going to look. I'm going to zoom out a bit here. Center that down. All right, so now I can draw another rectangle here to here. And then another one here. Again, we'll just draw shaker because it's just it's just a lot easier. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll push those in. I'll grab that this section, and so I can push it or pull it. And I'm going to pull it in a quarter inch. And same thing here, 0.25. All right. So now all I need to do is take my pencil and give this thing some vertical lines, so you can see that these this door is made of boards and not. Um, like a piece of plywood that was cut out or something. All right. Cool. All right, so let's get rid of our guides. All right, that's not bad. So that is our cabinet. We drew our base cabinet. It looks pretty good. So you know, if I wanted to, I can I can save this and upload this to um, SketchUp's like model uh, repository uh, and call it like you know a 36 inch wide kitchen base cabinet. Um, I could also draw some interior shelves. Uh, of course, I could draw a drawer box now. Um, but you know, for the purposes of SketchUp again, of just to, to illustrate the concept and the, and the dimensions and how it would all be put together, I don't really need to go into that sort of depth with that. Um, so this looks pretty good. Uh, and in our next video for cabinets from scratch subscribers, we will go into how to use this. I'm going to add actually uh, this, this. These instructions will require a drawing to reference, and I'm going to use um, close-ups of various shots of this cabinet uh, to make uh, the pictures or the images for this spreadsheet uh, to make this easier to use and understand. But yeah, you'll be able to put in your measurements, uh, some of your assumptions on how you'd want to build it, and you'll get your complete parts list from this. And we're going to make this, right now I have this for a cabinet, a base kitchen cabinet with a single drawer and double doors and with a face frame. So what I will do is make one for a base cabinet with a single drawer, single door. Uh, we'll make one for a corner cabinet, upper cabinets, fame, uh, frameless face frames, corner cabinets, uh, double wall ovens. Uh, the idea is to really give you guys some, some extra tools so you, so you can build all this stuff yourself. All right, uh, we'll catch you in the next lesson. Thanks.